Hello everybody, my name is Bloom and welcome back to my Road to Max. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's something I want you all involved in and I'll tell you about it later in the episode. Now let's get into it. Let's start by going to Tia the Fairy, where I turned in enough souls to unlock my final backpack slot and slapped a small backpack in it. I then went on a zombie slayer quest and when I killed it I unlocked the achievement There Can Be Only One, which leveled up my skyblock level from 157 to 158. I helped out a friend with an achievement he needed and from pure luck we both got the rare golden gift. Yep, that's going on the flagpole. Now, time for some dungeon runs. I'm still trying to get a better weapon than the livid dagger, so the grind for a giant sword continues. No luck today. I crafted up a vorporeal katana and went for an enderman slaying run when the dragon was spawned in. I got to really use my Chuju shortbow in this one and ended up with first place for the first time nice. ever on a dragon. Nice. You got a helmet. First place gets helmet, yeah. Yeah, that was my first armor drop I've gotten, and it won't be the last either. At this time, Diana was the mayor, and I wanted to progress on my griffin pet, so I started doing burrows. Now, in the middle of it, I got enchanting up to level 33, and upgraded my griffin pet from uncommon to rare. Time was running short with Diana as mayor, so I buckled in and bought the supplies to upgrade it to epic and then to legendary. Let's see how the burrows go now. Well, that was one of the harder things I could have spawned. It can't get worse, right? Just gonna... Well, I forgot to grab the chests from my dungeon runs earlier. Got a recompobulator and sold it, collecting that one and the one from the last episode. I went on to collect my minions, which took my pork chop collection to 9, the max collection level, which threw my skyblock level from 159 to 160, unlocking the achievement climbing the ranks number 4. I started up a live stream, and on it I got combat level 39, I bought a bunch of god potions, I took down over 50 more horrors before I got slam dunked harder than LeBron James. Just gonna... And then I got the rare beheaded horror drop on stream. G. Beheaded? Oh, whoa, I, 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 how did you see that and I missed it? Rare drop right there, right there. I leveled Zombie Slayer to 8, which put my Skyblock level up two levels from 160 to 162. I got combat from 39 to 40, and then I remembered to put the Champion enchantment on my Reaper Falchion. While I was with Elizabeth for that champion enchantment, there was a fire cell for the harvester helmet skin. And just take a listen to what I said to chat. I'll bring that up in a later video. Harvester helmet skin. The fermento helmet? 90 variants? There's... Bro, you know what? I'm keeping two and then one's for me. Hey! <laughs> I went from attaché, uh, attaché to ambassador. We did our daily table run and I got enchanting from 33 to 34. Oh, yo! I was right. Uh, enchanting level 33 to 34, I can use the Legion enchantment now. And after a few hours, I closed the stream and went to Jerry's workshop, purchasing a couple of upgrades in the Ice Essence shop. I got commissioned to join another island for a pixel art project. I think I made a nice blue ninja Pikachu for the player, Blue Ninja Pikachu. I know he'll see it in this video, and I just hope he still enjoys it. I had to get this shot next to my visitor display sign because reasons, and not for a segue to tell you to like the video if you're enjoying the Road to Max series. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel because starting with this video, 
we've got a massive project we'll be working on. So essentially for each new subscriber we get on each Road to Max video, I've got a project going on on an entire wall of my island that I will be placing one block down for each subscriber. And I can promise you that we will have the YouTuber rank by the time that we finish this. Now it's been a few days since I collected resources from our interns, so let's do it. Gunpowder collection to 8 and 9, bone collection to 10, and ice collection to 11. Fast forward and the moon is done. I still love how she looks. I went back to my garden and I spent over 12,000 copper on these upgrades. I did some farming and upgraded the potato hoe, which brought my carpentry level to 38. While farming pumpkins, I passively leveled taming to level 49, and this is about the time I took a small hiatus. A lot of things ended up picking up in real life, where I'm having a home built and I just couldn't be on as much. When I could hop on, I would collect from the minions and upgrade the slime minions, which ended up giving me skyblock level 164. Even a month later, I got mining level 31 from the minions, then combat 41. Just listen to the profits made from these bad boys. I definitely had to hop on to get the 5th anniversary balloons and even got the blood god crest and the shiny orb. Now after about 6 weeks, I was able to hop on again and really play when something odd happened. I guess I just must be famous now. Side note, that was actually sarcasm. I'm not that vain. Sue me. I started into foraging and got to level 23 before I realized I should wait to max this skill as it's going to take a very long time. While collecting my minions again, I leveled combat to 42 and my skyblock level went to 165. Out of nowhere, I got social level 10 and found out that this legend was the very first and so far the only one to get a cake soul from this island. Yeah, I'm, I'm not jealous at all. Not one bit. On another note, I could use a steady supply of coins and I've got plenty of slime minions for it. Let's get them sorted. We've got a good amount of bits, so let's upgrade these lava buckets. Now I spent way too much money on enchanted hoppers and even more magma buckets. Then I spent even more money buying Corrupted Soil, and thanks to ADHD, I was interrupted by the carnival and bought a bee mask. Now it's time that I set the minions up. That'll do for now. I upgraded some other minions, and when I collected the quartz, I got mining level 32, and it bumped my skyblock level to 166. I upgraded some more and unlocked my 27th minion slot. Now, I figured that since god potions lasted only about 14 hours when they could last 24 hours if my alchemy level were maxed, yeah, I wanted to max it. I could easily use the enchanted sugarcane I farmed, and after running a calculator, I found it would need about 3,000 to max it. That's, uh, that's a lot. So, using weaponized autism and a second screen for movies, I started farming. And kept farming. Oh look, 50 taming. That's nice. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do now? Yeah, I'm going to farm some more. You know what else is nice? Getting the carnival rewards and getting top 500 in the fishing event. I like this fish tank. Back to the grind. I don't know why, and I couldn't tell you why, but I got a pocket sack in a sack for the agronomy sack. Yep, back to it. I took a good look at this and had a thought that I should have had days ago. 
The calculator had said I need 3,000 some odd, but it may have meant 3,000 XP drops. I tested it off camera, and yeah, it, it meant each potion that you pull out of the brewing stand. So I only need about 1,000 enchanted sugar cane. That's a relief, at least. <laughs> Now, if you know how much fermento this is, I think you'll understand the grind. I set up some brewing stands and got a storage for the finished potions. Water bottles loaded, awkward potions loaded with sugar cane, all that's left is a booster cookie and the god potion. Down the hatch. Yep, this is too slow. So I made this and ran it through a test. This thing goes.
and there is level 50. I am so glad I didn't delve further into madness farming 3000 sugar cane. Level 50, officially maxing the alchemy skill, adding it as my second max skill in my road to max. Now I put in exactly 1161 sugar cane and I pulled out 529. We only needed 632 enchanted sugarcane for this, one-fifth of what I thought we would have needed. Now I could sell each of these potions for a few hundred coins, which would amount to... Well, not much. Eh, I know what to do. With that done, don't forget about our project. For every subscriber equals one block placed in this massive wall. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bloom, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!